what is motion array? What is what's all included? Starting that again. That was the worst intro ever. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? So that little intro you just watched was created using a template from Motion Array, and that's what today's video is all about. We're just going to walk through. I want to share the benefits of using a program like Motion Array. Uh, they did give me a free license for the year uh, in in you know like sponsorship collaboration to create a video on it and use it there weren't any specifics on how the video was to be created so like for the past couple months i've definitely been using it testing it out seeing how i like it and so far i love it like there's been times where i use it and it, it saved me in a couple projects or it's just enhanced the project a little bit as a video creator like this is something that is really nice to have just at, at my fingertips whenever i need it uh, whether I'm creating some cool logos, whether I'm creating different text effects or different projects. I mean, that intro alone was, you know, pretty easy to use and they just kind of walk you through the program. If you are interested, try it. Try it for two months because the link down below in the description will give you two extra free months for free. For free. Like you can cancel at any time. You could download everything you want and then you can cancel. And you can still use that stuff. That's the beauty behind Motion Array is, you know, similar to Artlist and ArtGrid that I've made a video on before, it's it's that same style of platform where once you have it, it's usable for a lifetime, which is really nice, especially when you're creating videos for clients or for YouTube or whatever the case may be, you know that is licensed uh, music, video, footage, text, graphics, all the above, definitely worth just checking it out. Use that link. It gives you a little extra time to play around because I definitely would say like I didn't really start sinking into it until about two or three months in. So, and that's really when I kind of saw the benefit of it. Uh, one of the other things that's been really nice with Motion Ray is they have this learn tab up here and I've had projects where I've had to work in Final Cut and I've had to work in Premiere and just being able to learn different programs makes you more diverse as a video filmmaker editor. So the more I can learn, the better off I am. And I know that. And that's like, I'm always trying to learn. So I guess one of the cool tools in Motion Array, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at my screen right here, looking at Motion Array, uh, is they have this learn tab and I'll kind of walk you through that. But essentially what you have here is a lot of videos that they have created tutorial style videos on the different platforms. Um, so you have After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, uh, filmmaking, motion design, post-production. I mean, just a ton of different free content that you can learn from, whether you're you know, riding the bike or whatever in the car, you could just listen and maybe pick up a few things. So this is, I don't think you need a membership to even access this stuff. So it's free resources. Like why would you not use that? Let's just start with the homepage. So when you go to motion array, this is kind of the opening page here. We have templates, presets, motion graphics, plugins, royalty-free music, sound effects, videos, photos, just a gang of assets that we can use in our projects. This is kind of the home page. This is like their selling landing page. But if we go into templates, this is where we start to get into the meat of Motion Array. This is, these are all Adobe After Effects. So you can see these tabs up here. We have Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, motion graphics, these purple dots are all for Adobe products. So motion graphics are Mogarts um, that you're probably familiar with. So those are going to give you like different stuff you can use within your videos, handwritten arrows. That's kind of cool if you wanted to use that. 
Like they have stuff that's pre-built for whatever you're trying to do. So if you're trying to do like social media stories, you can click on this geometric stories and get a cool story template to be able to use your own videos on. So just a lot of stuff in here and I'll just kind of scan through so you can see some of it, but like travel maps, sidebars. Again, there are several ways we can filter this. We can go in through, if we just want a title, we can do that. Um, and then we can sort even further by the most relevant to whatever I search. So maybe I just want like a modern glitch title. Let's just, let's just like a logo, modern glitch logo. It comes up with that for me. So if I wanted to download this, I liked it, but I wanted to see a little bit more on it. Uh, I can go in here and it gives me a nice description on the item, a little bit more detail on what's going on. 16 edible text layers and one logo placeholder. This is all important information that you need to pay attention to. You don't need any additional plugins for this. And then if you want it, you download it. If you want to save it or add to a collection, they would say, you can add it to a collection. So you can add to an existing collection or I don't have any collections built in here, or you can create a new collection. So let's just say Da Vinci, Da Vinci assets. Let's just say that I'm going to add this to that. And now it's added to my Da Vinci assets or collections. So at any point I can go up to my name on the top right corner and hit collections. I will have all of my collections stored in this area. So that's the templates tab. Now presets. Now we can look at some different presets, whether it's, um, I'm going to go into Adobe Premiere Pro, some different ways you can like smooth skin. Um, you can add these presets on top of your footage. So definitely check out the presets tab. This is where you can find Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve macros. Moving on, audio. Like when it comes down to music, I spend a lot of time trying to find the perfect song. So having multiple subscriptions or platforms to be able to look for and browse from and get inspiration from, is pretty beneficial. If you can afford it, I would definitely suggest having those different platforms. It's good just to have a subscription base where you can just pull music and try different things. And one minute you like the song and the next minute you don't. So you're switching it out constantly. You have the option to select different audio tracks in here. Uh, you can go through and filter, like we said, with different different categories and durations. You can add durations, beats per minute, usage rights. So if you want to you know, exclude PRO, only PRO. I don't even know what that means. <sighs> PRO. Next. Here you can browse any sort of sound effects that you might want. Okay, so moving on to video. This is where you can find a lot of stock footage and maybe you forgot a shot in your video and you want to come in and search for something. So under videos, you can filter by footage. Uh, which is going to be like stock video, or you can go into motion graphics. And what this is going to be is more like your backgrounds, lower thirds, transitions, uh, overlays, any overlays that you might have. So like, for example, this black balloons reveal frame, like your, your video footage would be behind there. And uh, this would just be like an overlay. Next, we're going to go into photos. And photos is just, it's exactly how it sounds. They're just stock photos that you have a huge library. Again, you can filter however you want. Um, maybe you want to just do abstract and textures and it'll give you a bunch of stock photos that are abstract and textures. So let's jump into the plugins tab. And what's cool about this is if you are using Premiere, they have a plugin for Premiere specifically where it'll work seamlessly. You can use all these different effects and transitions right into your project. Uh, we're not gonna go through that today. Maybe that'll be another video. All right, so as you can see, a lot of different tools and assets that you can use within your projects in Motion Array. So definitely check it out. I mean, again, this is risk-free to you guys. Uh, the link down below gives you two extra months free. Try it out for a couple months. If you don't like it, cancel at any time. Um, and after that, it's very reasonably priced for how much assets and how much they're adding to it every single day. It's well worth the monthly cost or annual cost 
Uh, monthly is about 30 bucks per month and annual is 250 bucks. So you are getting a little bit of a discount when you go on the annual side, which is pretty typical across most platforms. I appreciate you guys being here today. I hope this video provided some like insight into what is Motion Array. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. The intro and conclusion. I just never know. It's tough. It's tough being a YouTuber. I don't know. But Motion Array is pretty cool. Waterloo. If you guys haven't tried Waterloo, I know bubbly is like a thing, but Waterloo is like way more of a thing. It's delicious.